with the level of insecurity in this country, things are getting out of hand, and a supposed presidential candidate is having a new rock in London, which is something I seriously find funny. And Aisha Yusufu is also reacting to this. Aisha Yusufu offers advice to voters after five senators paid a visit to Tinubu in London. Hmm. Controversial activist Aisha Yesufu has reacted after some group of lawmakers paid a visit to Bola Hamed Tunubu, former Lagos State Governor and National Leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in London. In the photograph shared by Sahara reporters, there were about five senators that stood behind the APC leader. According to Sarah reporters, one of the senators who posted the picture used the opportunity to campaign for the APC leader. Reacting to the photo, activist Aisha Yusufu, through her verified Twitter handle, gave a word of advice to Nigerians that would want to vote. She advised them on the choice of candidates they should go for. According to what she said, Aisha Yusufu, Nigerian politician will give their party ticket to whoever is the highest bidder and not the right candidate. She advised that if Nigerians continue to vote helplessly for candidates given to them by the party rather than voting for the right candidate, the fortune of the candidates will change and not the country. Hmm. She will talk my sister. Here is how she posted it anyways. She said, Nigerian's politicians are shameless and we give party tickets to the highest bidder. If Nigerian people continue to behave helplessly by voting anyone giving to them rather than vote candidates instead of party, nothing will change in Nigeria other than the fortune of the politician. Hmm. Here is what the senator posted in his own words. He said, a line to Numbu sand, sandwiched between Nigeria senator in new photos as lawmaker campaign for him to become president in come 2023. Okay, amongst other giving to them rather than voters candidates. Here is what someone is saying. Meanwhile, many people have been tipping the APC leader for president come 2023. Hopefully, when he gets better, he would make his plan known. Hmm. Well, someone here is saying something else. Well, let's hit the comment section here. People stay on days. Someone by name Iwa Tomo Alien. Abi Allen. I'm sorry. What we need is for Nigeria to have access to gun. If we vote for any senator and they misbehave, we do what? We gun them down. Hmm. And they'll be looking at you. Who will even get the gun first? Hmm. Oh yeah, Joe, let's laugh to that. I must say, well, someone here is saying that, oh yeah, Joe, let's laugh to that. And he's laughing at loud. And some other person are referring to that person by saying, imbecile, thank God you are a nobody. What stop you from becoming a senator and showcase what you can do? Definitely. Oh, differently, this freedom of speech self. Hmm. Some people know now or some are not aware that freedom of speech has limits even on wheelchair we go vote and um, come 2023 by god's grace you will be the one to do that and don't voice or don't voice for others even in wheelchair my food do you have any option you must vote for your for your slave master okay adeniji adele Bus stop to Idumago Idu Road is worst road on earth. An APC government in Lagos State is nothing but failure. Wow. Can government fix all those roads at a time or in one single tenor of any administration? Okay. So we should wait till 10 years. After five years, you guys believe you can deceive everybody. Hmm. Chinebu cannot become president of Nigeria. No way, because I wouldn't even dare to vote for the president again. We have already seen how he has already started making plans for his new Asso Rock in London. So, how can we even dare to say that we are going to vote for a sick man? Then it will be your father then. Okay, but remember you are not God. Hmm. Who will vote for this kind of person when he enter the state house? He will 
be using our money to treat himself like President Buhari. Okay, and someone is still saying that Jagaban. That's Jagaban. It is Aisha. You are very correct. Okay, Nigeria votes must wake up. The politician are the same. Either they are in APC or PDP. Okay. That is why capable hands are not in politics in Nigeria because the highest bidder always have its Nigeria politics is all about money. When capable hand like late Ghani Fawaimi contested, did you vote for him? Hmm. This Tunubu London medical pilgrimage is a warning to Nigerians never to vote for a man who will spend more days in London hospital than <clears throat> that being in Nigeria facing the business of governance. Perhaps he is rising from his installed puppet president, but he will not get there. Nigerian cannot afford another disaster. You are correct. We can't afford that. We don't another disastrous president like the one have who travels more than even a bed. But the problem is that our vote does not count. If they can allow electronic voting system, this manual one is manipulated to favor their candidates. For now, we are wasting our time because results are always predetermined. Pre okay? And someone said, Aisha, you hit the nail on the head. And that's exactly what has been happening over the years. They enjoyed visiting London but won't let Nigeria develop. And I always ask myself, whenever they travel to London and are on the streets of London, do they usually put their eyes in the pocket? Which is something I don't understand. Because if truly they've been seeing all the developments in London and they see how neat the street of London is, why can't they do the same in Nigeria so that they will stop wasting their energy and strength traveling? I always ask this question because we go to a place there is one thing my dad used to do then whenever he travels and he sees a very beautiful thing in someone's house that he went to visit like a friend or so when he comes to the house he questioned all the children and said if we have this in the house wouldn't it be nice and when we all say yes it will be nice then our dad usually gets that same thing for us but i don't usually understand how these people travel all the time they go to London, they go to US, they go to Canada, so on and so forth. And yes, they haven't emulated anything from those people. The only thing they know how to do is to go there, have fun, enjoy themselves, send their children or make their children have lavish lifestyle. That's all. They haven't had the a brain or the ayata of shame to do what is right. Or to even say, let us make Nigeria look like this very same place so that all those People can also come to our country to have a, luxury, a luxurious life the same way we have been going there to spend our money on their own economy. Why can't the same happen in Nigeria as well? Well, you can hit the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.